Mahesh is here. Welcome to the awesome session. At the end of this session, all of you, uh, the, the expectation is that I mean, you would understand the list end to end, and uh, I'll uh, make a deep dive, uh, deep, deep dive session into the list, and uh, I'll take you to uh, how to declare uh, the nested list and uh, some kind of uh, uh, operations that you will be performing with the list. Let's start with uh, uh, defining a new list. So, uh, Pradeep, ha Pradeep has, uh, and in a morning session, he has told you that uh, the, uh, uh, the basics of list and uh, uh, how to declare and basically how to uh, perform some kind of operations on the list. I have taken a basic list here. Uh, it contains four numbers, uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, let's do like a uh, other uh, Assign this list to a variable and uh, let's see the type of the list. It says it as list. So, what operations can be performed with this? So, you can add these are the methods that can be performed with a list object. So uh, the add element basically uh, appends the element to the list and then uh, the contains basically uh, I mean, figures out if the uh, list contains that particular element or not. If it contains it returns row always false and uh, delete element and uh, the slice. We will go into uh, most of the, these are uh, private methods. Like, just have a look into it. I mean, uh, most of these functions are self-explanatory. I mean, uh, by looking at the uh, name of the function, you should be able to figure out what uh, the intended uh, behavior of the function. So uh, let's understand like, I mean, um, how can we use this when uh, uh, we are performing operations on the list. And uh, uh, basically, like, I mean, uh, list is one of the most important data systems that uh, uh, we deal with Python. And uh, if you are coming with C or C++ background, I mean, I mean, if you would have written a lot of uh, stack programs and queue programs and linked lists and things like that. So uh, here, what happens with Python is that uh, Python literally figures out like uh, what kind of data structure I need to uh, I mean, use uh, for uh, implementing uh, uh, stack or things like that. And depending on the data, it will figure out like I will have to go for a tree or uh, I'll have to uh, maintain that in a flat uh, uh, data structure or something like that. So uh, you you could basically create a list and uh, uh, treat that list as a stack or uh, a queue or uh, uh, whatever you want that uh, can be performed. Uh, so I, I understand that uh, most of you would be freshers and you will not have understood uh, 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 what, what you mean by what the definition of stack and queue. But uh, uh, the rest of the, uh, rest of the uh, audience who uh, understands the uh, definition of uh, stack and queues can use this uh, list to basically uh, perform uh, the list to behave like a stack or to behave like a queue. Uh, so, uh, do zero of uh, the list that you uh, would have created. So you can see a method here called pop. So uh, what happens is that I mean, when you perform, well, uh, it returns uh, the the top of the element is popped out. So uh, the L initially contained one, two, three, four, and now uh, we have popped the element from that. And uh, let's see what happens if we uh, push it.
This is how you basically uh, insert uh, or solve the element and then append the element uh, on the list. So uh, this is how uh, uh, this is the functionality that you will be doing with the uh, uh, stacks. And uh, similarly, you have uh, 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 insert and uh, uh, and things. I mean, uh, insert uh, insert methods to basically uh, insert the element into the uh, list and uh, you will perform all this. So quickly, I will, uh, uh, I mean, one of the important uh, uh, the point that I want to make here is that uh, uh, how do you uh, traverse the list? So uh, you could use uh, uh, for them to traverse the uh, list. I mean, I understand that I mean, uh, this is the first time that I am uh, introducing you to the for loop in Python. So uh, the for in Python was inspired from Pascal. So Pascal's uh, way of uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, doing the for loop uh, uh, is what used mostly in Python. So uh, it, the syntax is a little bit different from, uh, it, uh, from other uh, programming languages. So uh, it says like this, I mean, it goes like this, it's, uh, it's for items in sales. <coughs> Let's define one more uh, Let's see what happens if I don't uh, just 
for our engineering. So what happened here? So I, this was a string, right? I mean, this was an object. So I just I created over I, I created over the object. I, I was able to access each and every literal of that object. Right? So let's add this into the list and see what happens then. I'm doing this and let me iterate over this and see what happens. So what happened here was like a, uh, so each and every object is iterated over when you are accessing. What happened previously was that I mean uh, when you had to iterate when you, when you gave the Python a string, the Python understood that okay I want to iterate over each and every little. Here uh, you have a single object here and the Python understood that okay, I, this is a string and that I will have to iterate over each and every little. But here, it understood that, I mean, this is a list and I, in the list you have basically, uh, how many objects? How many objects are there in this list? Five objects, right? So, so it understood that, okay, uh, this is a list and it has five objects and I have to iterate over all the five objects. So uh, in the previous case, uh, so since it was a string, it, 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 was, it was iterating over the, uh, basically, the records. So uh, this is one of the important points that you want to understand uh, uh, in the rest of the list. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what you, you can talk about the random populations and things like that on the list and uh, you can get that. And, uh, yeah, so uh, so let me quickly introduce all of you to one of the most, uh, uh, mostly used uh, uh, utility functions in Python and that's called range. So, what is range? So, range is one of the uh, uh, utility methods. Basically, what happens uh, with the range is that I mean, if you uh, want to uh, generate a sequence of numbers, I mean, based on some kind of a logic, you could use uh, uh, this, fun this, this particular function will be handy. So, let's see what happens if I do a range of p. So it created uh, uh, 0 to uh, 2, I mean excluding 3, uh, uh, it starts with 0 and excluding that number, I mean it reached that. I mean, um, if you want to display the range, you can, if you want to start from 50 and print to uh, I mean 55, you could do something like this. Uh, it starts with 50 and then ends with uh, 55. Uh, so, uh, well, I mean, this is mostly used to iterate over the uh, uh, loops or something like that. I mean, uh, you, you have seen that I mean, uh, a common syntax in uh, C or C++ is that for i, for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i less than or something like that. So similarly, if I want to perform that kind of an operation, we use a uh, uh, range uh, method. I mean, so I mean, range will basically generate a sequence of numbers. And you can give like starting number and uh, uh, ending this thing, ending number and uh, basically you can give, uh, you can also give uh, what is the difference. Uh, let's see what happens if I do this. Then, uh, one, 
So, I mean, the third parameter that it accepts is that I mean, uh, the difference between the number. So, you can, uh, I mean, if you for your understanding, I mean, uh, uh, the 110 is not considered I mean, because, like, I mean, uh, it starts with 10, excluding 110, and then, I mean, uh, the difference between the numbers is 10. I mean, 10 plus 10 is 20, and 10 plus 20, like that. I mean, it's not many progress, not many things. Uh, so this is how it is. Let's see uh, if I print uh, what happens. Uh, so this is what happens. Uh, so yeah, you can see that. I mean, it has printed the uh, the range. The output of the range is still 48. So and actually, and uh, the third parameter is used to basically define the difference between the numbers. So uh, the main uh, main uh, catch here is that uh, you have to understand that you can generate a series of numbers, and uh, these numbers can be used to basically perform some kind of operation or something like that. Uh, so I will So, uh, example, if you have a list and if you want to, if you want to comment, uh, you know that I mean, uh, Python's uh, for loop is kind of uh, uh, different than what uh, you are using in conventional way. Sometimes you would want to uh, get the index index of the list. For that, you will have to make it the uh, index number in the for loop. For that reason, you will you, you, you be using this page quite a lot in your programs. This will be very handy for you to get the uh, index of the item is a list that you are op operating on.
Okay, so uh, I hear you are it. So let's see what happens if I do uh, something like this. You could basically pop up like I mean, you can uh, traverse the list reverse by uh, giving the negative numbers. So what happened here is that so when you read L of one, it will uh, the zero image and this is the first image. And when you perform minus one, you uh, you can basically travel the list around it's the reverse in the reverse page and it's telling that okay minus one is hundred. So uh, you know that the zero theta is ten and uh, the first theta is twenty. Uh, 2, 3, 4, like that, and if you go in the reverse direction, the minus 1, it understands, the Python understands that, uh, okay, uh, the minus 1 means I need to uh, uh, index out the last element in the list. So, let's see what happens if I do uh, minus 5. So, uh, that's how it is. I mean, uh, so, uh, I mean, these are kind of uh, uh, things that you will be doing uh, uh, in day to day uh, programming in Python. I mean, uh, you need to understand like, uh, the functionality of this. So uh, that's the reason I have this. So, uh, let me introduce you to the slicing of it. I mean, uh, say you want to uh, say you want to try the uh, list. Basically, you want to uh, get a subset of numbers from this list. Uh, let's say like proxy numbers or something like that. Uh, then you do something like this. So uh, if you haven't provided anything in the uh, uh, left hand side of this uh, hole here, uh, then it's treated as zero. Start with zero and uh, uh, then count the three numbers and then print that. So you could basically start with something and uh, count the three numbers. Now it's like. Uh, Start with three, uh, start with two, and then uh, the, the, the index is three. So uh, that, that's the reason that I'm going to be So let's see how it is. So this is how you'll be uh, slicing and uh, uh, slicing the list to smaller, uh, uh, smaller list, or if you want to perform any kind of uh, uh, subset related option, you can use this. Uh, Obviously, this will be uh, handy. Let's see what happens if I uh, don't give this. So, start with second index and the uh, uh, rest of the array uh, you just uh, uh, end it out. So, if you're following this, uh, these are the uh, basic techniques that you will be using uh, in day to day activities or uh, day to day uh, in Python programming uh, uh, listings. And uh, you need to understand this behavior very carefully uh, because uh, uh, Python is uh, very famous for this, and uh, you will be using this in almost everywhere uh, uh, to perform your uh, uh, to implement your logic. Perform your engineering, I and mean, you will be uh, using this list. This is one of the most important tools that you will be using. Uh, while doing your engineering, so uh, so that's the reason I'm, uh, uh, I'm asking you to basically uh, do some practice on the list. So we have a, a list of programs that you want. I would ask you to solve on the list now. So. Uh, Uh, yeah, using the range and using the list, can you generate uh, the sequence of numbers uh, for multiples of 2, multiples of 3, multiples of 4, so on, in them? In column? Name that, uh, 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 that file. I want you to open a notepad and I mean, or whatever. I mean, you want to uh, call that program as tables.py. And uh, basically, uh, I want you to use list and uh, range to basically generate the output for uh, uh, multiples of 2, 3 and so on till then. Is it possible? Uh, tables dot by uh, will be like multiples of 2, multiples of 3, say multiples of x. You need to print first 10 multiples.
x equal to r.
when you have multiple leg stands, if you want to perform uh, other, uh, this kind of functionality where, uh, uh, let me introduce to uh, new utility called Zip. So,
So immutable is like uh, it's not like both is affecting the uh, same instance. Basically, you will not be able to uh, avoid the Yeah. 
people in the uh, back side, uh, are you able to see it? See the code? So, here in the program, it depicts the uh, uh, list containing uh, the function. So, I want all of you to uh, notice that I mean, how easy it is to basically uh, do an operation something like this. I mean, we have defined four functions here, and we have uh, uh, basically uh, created a list of these functions and uh, uh, the molecular functions. Uh, you, can, you can imagine that I mean, if you want to write a program like this in C or C, it would have been nightmare because you would have to take the function pointers and things like that. So, uh, here in Python, uh, in Python, it's so, uh, it, it's beyond your imagination, right? I mean, how you can basically uh, leverage the uh, tools that we have uh, uh, in, in Python. So, uh, this is one of the programs that uh, I, I wanted you to show. Uh, and uh, uh, in the tables we actually uh, covered uh, and, uh, most of the how to create the tables and things uh, like that. And uh, if you notice that I mean, in Python, uh, uh, whenever we did help or uh, whenever we did the DIR, so uh, it was actually retaining the tuples. So the starting of the uh, application of tuples is that uh, 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 is noticeable. And uh, concatenation of lists and uh, reputation. So this is the uh, last concept in uh, uh, lists and tuples. So how do we concatenate lists is using the plus operator. And uh, if you have two lists and then using the uh, concatenation operator, you could basically uh, concatenate the two lists. And uh, this is interesting, uh, using the star operator. So, uh, say you have a, a list, 1, 2, 3, and then um, what happens when I multiply 3 to the list? You could basically multiply a uh, number to the list. What happened was like this. Uh, so, the list was written twice. So, uh, this is a, a repetition feature of uh, the repetition feature of list. So, this will also be useful in uh, some places where you want to use the list. So, uh, you could use uh, functions like compare. So, basically, uh, compare the two lists. And uh, we already know that the uh, 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 length of list will become the length and max and min. Uh, utility functions already available for you to uh, find out like um, uh, the maximum number and minimum number. You don't have to worry about binary search or linear search or something like that to uh, figure out which is max or which is mean. Uh, so, filter list methods append, count, extend, index, insert, pop, remove, reverse, or log methods. So, uh, I need uh, uh, you to basically uh, practice all this and understand the behavior of it. Uh, that's it. And uh, I'll hand over to Kadi. He'll be uh, walking you through walking you through the set and
So this is a list within list, right? So there are three lists within one list, right? Suppose let's say I want to sort based on this number, the second element of this list, second element, second element and second element. So how do I do that? So this is how you do. So key takes some criteria, right? So lambda we know that it is a function, right? So what I want is lambda will take one first element. First element is uh, this, right? So it takes uh, any element basically. It finds x of one, right? X of one here is. 3, x of 1 here is 6, x of 1 here is 1, then it should sort based on this criteria. So it does 1, 3 and 6, then it prints that elements. So 1, 3 and 6, so that's how it works. So key is very critical. So based on this, we have a problem. Okay? We'll do the problem. Is this concept clear? Anyone? Repeat. Repeat. Okay. So the concept here is uh, using a parameter key within sort. We know, we all know that sorting happens in either increasing or decreasing order. So. I did b dot sort here, right? So it just sorted in whatever way it needs. It just sorted uh, it just took the first value and it started printing. Okay? But I don't want that. I want to sort based on the second value. Right? So so sort has a kind of uh, help wherein you can give your uh, criteria how do you want to sort it. Right? So key takes a value. You have seen the help, right? So key takes one value, it takes, it gets the value from this function, lambda is a function, right? So it returns x of 1, x of 1 for this is 3, right? x of 1 for this is 6, 1, it got 3, 6, 1, it, it sorts that. So it gets 1, 3 and 6, then it prints the sorted list, so that's how it
So the problem here is uh, I have defined a list. You have to create a function len sort. Okay? You have to write a piece of code len sort which takes list. Okay? So list has you can take the same list basically. Python, Perl, Java, C, Ruby. Okay? You can take this for uh, inputs. And what you can do is you have to sort this list based on the length. Based on the length of each item. Is this the same? Make yourself the key concept.
This is a string. Now let's say I want to access a of zero. I, I do a of zero. I get the first uh, character. Let's say I want to modify this. Okay. So let's say I want to modify this. How do I do that? A of seven. A of seven? Sure. Change that. I don't have it. 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 I don't have
So, in strings, we have one important method for the split. Okay, make sure you use this split. So, what it returns is, it takes a string, dot split, it returns me a list with splitted values. Okay? So, by default, what it does is, it splits on space. Okay? Let's say I want to split on something else. I have to give some delimiters. Yes. Let's say I will give you an example. Thank you. 